Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. 61, 69, right, it is filling up with water. It's taking a while to fill up with water, but it is filling up with water. That's all that really matters. The rain has just about stopped. I was wondering if I should not bother doing the tidy up. I'm sort of thinking... I will do the tidy up. I'm, I'm thinking that's probably a good thing to go and do. So if I, you know, I'm just going to take this spike over here a minute. I don't need to go and put it anywhere else. If I, if I drop that one down there, that's not going to be in the way of anything. And then I can get the bucket on really quick. We will just slow time down a minute. There. Actually, we'll go, we'll, we'll go right down like that. There we go. And I will grab this bucket. And then I will scoop up all of the silage over here. Steady. Steady. And there. Right. You've got to get it just right, haven't you? Back a bit. There. Got to get it just right all the way through. There we go. There's another 300 litres of silage. Tip that in there. Just like that. And I'm going to leave this one here. He's ready then for the morning. The wind is quite noisy, isn't it? Like you, you, you can hear the effects in the background a lot more than you can. I don't know if that's this map or if that's seasons. I think it's seasons, actually. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Right, we'll skip the night again and we will go for another um, 12 hours of sleep. There we go. 6,300 from the livery stable is coming in each day. Animal upkeep is 4,800. And vehicle leasing and running costs, they're not being covered. And property maintenance. So the, the horses are covering all of the animal costs. They're not covering everything, but they are at least covering all of the animal costs. Now, I want to have a look in here. I'm going to go onto the map, and that one has grown a bit. All of these are now ready to go. We've got patches in this field up here that are harvested. And that, I think, so we had some germination failed there, the blue bits. But I think these purple bits are where we didn't have enough water. And now we've got, uh, the rain has come down, so it, it should have made a difference. And the, the crops up there, they should be coming along quite nicely. We had all the fertilizer and everything on them that we wanted. Uh, let's check the animals again. I have four liters of food there for the chickens. So it's probably an idea to go and put something in for the chickens at some point soon. Um, cows is still filling up with water. That seems to be an ongoing permanent thing. They've got very little in the way of hay and silage, but they've, they've got a little bit there that will keep them going just for a minute. And then the horses, the horses are doing fine. Right. So if I go into here, I will scoop up the silage once again in front of the cows. I will go and get them a few bale... Actually, no. I will get them a bale of hay, I suppose. I'm actually thinking I probably... I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I should just not get them any. Right, if, I, if I don't get them any at all, would that be all right? Would they be able to last? No, because if we're making silage, it's not going to last. So I do want to make a little bit more hay. And I want to make hay anyway because we need that for the um, for the TMR. So I am going to make more hay anyway, regardless of what we're doing. I need to make some more hay. So let's go over this way and get those 16 litres of grain right there. That's a very annoying quantity really isn't it that 16 liters just enough that it knocks a percentage off the health of the chickens but not enough to actually do anything right it's, it's just that little tiny bit there it, it it feels frustrating to have to bring the bucket over just for that little bit every single time um let's keep going with the barley here shall we keep using that one up so I'll bring you back round. I know I've got the hopper over there, and I will use up some more of that one. But right now, I'm, I'm liking the idea. I'm, I'm just liking that I can take it straight out of there using the bucket. Because I had no idea. I, I didn't realize that this was even a thing until just recently. 
I had zero idea at all. So I'm, I'm like, I, I'm still really on to this idea where I can go and just put that in. Now, is it going to stop me from tipping in when it's full? Because when I was overlapping before, there we go, this action cannot be performed here. If I was slightly in front of the pen, it would just put it in the heat there, but it doesn't do it when I'm back here. Right, chickens are now full. They've got all the grain that they need. That will last them for two days. The horses are fine with water as well. And cows, they're actually nearly full on water. Hay silage in here, 6,800. I'm going to risk just leaving them as they are. We'll see how they get on. I mean, maybe I'll go and put... I'll, I might put some in a bit later. But the chickens over here. Let me just put a little bit of water in for them like that. There we go. Doesn't take long to fill their pen up. And I think we need to get out here to this tractor. Right? We can work in this field using the standard hired help. Or the AI vehicle extension. But I don't want to do that. I want to try this one out here, and I want to see if I can get course play to work. I've no idea how to set course play on a course that I, I, I don't know anything about. I'm going to reverse back up here. So as I said, uh, several people have very kindly offered to show me a number of different tips and tricks with course play, and I have very politely said, no, go away, I'm not interested, uh, <laughs> mainly because I wanted to go into it blind. I wanted to just see how well I could do with course play, having learned a little tiny bit for FS17, but not really anything else. And I wanted to see if I had any chance of being able to do this myself. Probably not, but I still thought it was worth a try. Now, this one out here, I'm going to prepare this one for loading silage. So we're not going to we're not going to do hay in this field. This one's going to be silage. So I'm going to go there first and change drive toggle work mode. Left control Y. There. Right. That's now tipping it all into the middle. Swath dropping. It's all into the middle right there. So I'll uh, get rid of that one. Like that. And then course play down here. Now I don't know. Type field work. We've got uh, course play control. Manage courses. Speed limits. Settings. General drive settings. Covers automatic. Refill fuel at gas station. Fuel save option. Beacon lights on the street, waiting time. See, I, I don't think any of that makes any difference. Uh, open HUD with right mouse button activated. Show waypoints. Right. None of that actually makes any sense to me whatsoever. So we go here to field work. Course generation. Calculate current field's edge path. Now, is that going to let me do it? Or do I... Where do I go? If I click on course generation... What does that do? Advanced course generator settings. Currently loaded course. Starting location. Headland. Bypass islands. Uh, working width 3.9 meters. Right, there's my working width. I've got that bit. Field center. Experimental. Up, down. Skip rows. Zero. Multiple tools. Uh, well, I don't have that, do I? Right, well, I don't know what that is. Starting direction automatic. Starting location current vehicle. Headland. One. Two. Three. Start working on headland passes. Turn on the headland corners. Field edge path. Field one. Currently loaded course. Generate. Couldn't generate. Try changing settings or moving the vehicle. 
back. Calculate current field's edge path. I think I broke something there. So how do I do this? Back. Start course recording. Pretty sure it's something to do with this, isn't it? You've got to start course recording. Type transfer, drive start to finish. Leveling and compacting temporary course. Stop the recording. Set wait point. Set unload. Set crossing. Start turn maneuver. Start reverse driving. Right, well I don't want any of those, I don't think. I get rid of that one. It's on temporary course, so I want to I want to start everything up first. Start you. Start you. Lower that one down. And that one. Okay, that's that's still running, so I can I can get rid of that one. And I will go with this temporary course. So I think what I'm supposed to do is make a temporary course. So this is what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and make a temporary course around this field. And then I will see. I don't know if I'm supposed to actually be working while I'm generating the course. No idea. I might be. I might not be. We will find out soon enough. Go up through there. I can't see. I'm under the tree. Right, there's a... Oh, I know what that is. That's the ditch that goes across the field. There's a ditch here that goes across the field that people said about. They said that you're going to struggle to be able to go through that ditch. So what we need to do is we need to go round this ditch. So I bring that one up there like that. And I won't worry about the little triangle bit. But I'll bring this all the way up here. And then when I think I'm close enough to the middle... I think that's close enough to the middle right there. I'll bring that round and then I will follow this all the way back down here. We'll probably go, when we come to ploughing up this field, we will fill up this little ditch in the middle of the field. I think we'll get rid of that. I don't think we want to have that. But whether or not this temporary course, I don't know, I don't know what this is going to do. Like, is this going to t say that this is, is it going to accept that this is the edge of the field? I'm hoping that it does. I'm hoping it says, oh, okay, that's the edge of your field. We'll, we'll run with that then. We'll do that. We'll take that. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to the trees. There was a thing about the islands in the middle, but the, I don't think what I've just done is anything to do with an island in the middle, is it? That, that wasn't actually anything in the middle. It was simply a an edge to the field. So it would be like a, a hedgerow or something sticking up in the field. So I'm pretty certain that that one's going to be all right at least that's what i'm hoping there's it looks like that ditch actually goes a fair bit further than what i went across so we may end up having a little bit of difficulty with that i'll wait and see that's another one that we're going to have to find out and also i don't know if course play is going to be able to cope with using uh, the four-wheel steer. It, it may be too much for it. It may not be able to cope with the four-wheel steer. Some things can't. And is it the GPS? Pretty sure the GPS in FS17. It was able to cope with... Um, what was it able to cope with? It was able to cope... GPS was able to cope with normal vehicles. And I think it could cope with four-wheel steer. But it didn't like articulated steer. That was the one that it didn't like. And you couldn't do reverse steering either. Reverse reverse drive didn't work. But I, I don't think reverse drive worked with standard hide help either. I, I think that uh, both of those were kind of off the cards. If you if you wanted to use either of those options, you had to do it you, you had to do it manually. You, you didn't have any assistance with those. Um, standard AI would be just fine with an articulated machine but i don't think articulated machines worked like i said with um the ai vehicle extension i mean i might be wrong on that it, it may well have worked all right with that it may have been something else i may have just imagined that bit right i'm over to here i've made it back to this far right so i'm, I'm right there and now what 
Um, start turn manoeuvre. Set crossing. Unload. Set waypoint. Pause. Stop. So stop the recording right there. Now drive course just does around there, doesn't it? So if I go course generation, is this what I'm supposed to do? I'm on the field work thing. Next close, start course, drive course, stop. Generate field course, headland pass is currently loaded, current, start driving. See, I've got a course right there. Generate field course. Oh, it's done it. Right, so that's all you got to do. You just drive around a circuit, and then it goes and does the whole thing. Right. So we've now got a field course. So if I click on drive course... Wait. Why is it... Hmm. It seems to... It, it, it's gone weird. Um, what's it... I, I don't understand. Why is, why is the width like that? It, let me say stop driver a minute. Like that. Go to course generation. Working width is 9 meters. That's right. Multiple tools, it says one. Maybe I've got to go round again in order for that to work. Where's the... Like it, say, it says one on there. I, I don't know what that is. Maybe I'm supposed to have more than that. Um, I'm not, not really sure. Save current course grass field save right so I've, I've saved it there and he's he's continuing on let's let's leave it here for a minute grass field 40 50 40 minutes remaining I'm thinking it's something's not quite right with this with the maybe the width of the machine or something like that we'll, we'll watch it go round once when it's gone round once, if it still is doing it like this, it's obviously then working on three metres instead of a wider width, which it should be. So, I mean, it, it seems like it's going the right place at the moment. It's, it's following all of the course and everything. I wonder why it was slowing down. It's because there's a corner on this bit, I think. Oh, no. No, it's decided it's going to be able to go on round that. Looking at the width of it here... I'm convinced that it's running on a 3 meter width and not a 9 meter width. That's what I think it's doing. Why it's doing that, I'm not really sure. It's, this is the bit that I'm a little bit confused about, is why is it running it on a 3 meter width when it should be doing it on a 9 meter width? So I've, I've run the first part of the course. Okay, I've run, I've run one circuit on the course. Oh, it's going to do it properly. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! It is doing it properly. Right, so it's, it's saying it's got 37 minutes left. That one there, it, it was obviously... I'm not quite sure why it ran that tight to the edge of the field. And maybe it decided that's where the edge of the field needed to be. Um, but now it's actually moved in. It's gone in 9 metres and it is actually doing a 9 metre width on it. It's still saying this can take another 35 minutes to finish this field, which is it's a fair while, but that's all right. We can live with that. That is something that I can cope with. Um, once this field is done, we will then send the tractor over and we will start working on some of the other fields. I'm not going to use course play to do the other fields, I don't think. I'll probably just use the standard AI or the AI vehicle extension, one or the other. Um, but something that we need to go and get... We're going we're gonna to just watch it go round once more. See, it's going through the bit of the ditch that's right there. But this bit further down, I think, is a bit too much for it to cope with. So I'm quite glad that we have selected it to do this. It should, this should be the third time round. 
And then once it's done this time round, it should... Actually, you know what? Because of where I drove the course, and then it's done the three meters... Like, it, it didn't do three meters, it's done a nine meter width. It's actually driven on the edge of the... Where the edge of my wheels were, that's where it said the outside of the course is. That's, that's what it's loaded as the outside edge of the course. So I'm thinking that what it's decided, this, it's thinking that this is the second round, not the third round. So it's going to do once more around the field before it finishes up. So that one's going to carry on up there. So we get one more pass on this field, and then it will start doing the land work straight up and down. That's the experimental bit. So whether or not that actually works remains to be seen. It's going to be interesting to find out, though. This, this is my theory, though, is that the edge of where the wheels were, that was the edge of the course. So if I had driven closer to the edge of the actual field, it would have run it a bit better. But we have now got a course saved on here. So I could actually use course play, in theory, to go and pick up the silage using a forage wagon and then take it back over to the clamp. That's a little bit advanced for me, though. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I'd be able to do that. What, I, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to let this one go down to the bottom corner just to see if my theory about the um, number of times around the outside edge is correct. And then once he's done that, once, once he's started doing whatever he's going to do with it, we will then go over to... We'll, we'll go and pick up our crone, the, the older forage wagon that we've got, and we will take that one over to the dealership. We will sell that one and we will buy a brand shiny new forage wagon. It's going to be the biggest one that money can buy. Okay. Oh, I see. He's backing up now. He's decided that's a corner there. Going up in and we're off on another round around the outside. So we're going to let that one keep going with going around the outside. And then I'm going to go to... No, 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 no. This one. And we are going to go and we are going to get ourselves a brand shiny new forage wagon. So let's go and hitch this one in because we no longer need this one. And this one can be sold back to the dealership. It's done as well. This, this one has served as well. It's almost 25,000 litres capacity. Which is not to be sniffed at. That That is a, a, a fairly reasonable forage wagon, really, when you think about it. But it's just not quite everything that we were hoping for in a forage wagon. We need something just a little bit bigger to keep us going. So we're going to go racing up over here. And I do think we should seriously consider upgrading our road right here. Right, this bit here. This is our... In, this is this is kind of our direct access to the dealership is this one down here and I think that this particular little stretch of track could do with being upgraded a little bit just 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 a smidgen so that we're able to easily get over to the dealership without any trouble I mean I could always just put a direct track right the way across but I don't think I really want to do that that's that's something that I'm going to avoid doing I mean grind to a halt right there and bring you over to there, and then I can run back over this way. Uh, return. Yes. Was I leasing that one? I may well have been. Okay, now I need to go into here. I need loading wagons. Right, we've got the Rapid 8400 there. It's 150,000 is 56,500 litres. However, oh, it does. I was just going to say it doesn't have a pickup on it. It does. The pickup's one of those backward pickups. Right, configuration standard, extension, that takes it out to, wait, what? Oh, 53,000, or the extension, it goes to 56,500. Wheel brand, Michelin, Trailborg, wheel setup. Okay. Apparently there's no op it says wheel setup, but there's no options for those regardless. So that's a up to 56. This one here, uh, this one here is 56,000, and we've got an option for a cover on it, but it doesn't actually change the capacity on it. Then we've got this one that drops all the way down to 42,000, and that one at 35, and then 34, and then 23. So the big 
the big boys here for this one really are this uh brown is this Sh shooter maker Sh shooter marker I, I suppose maybe uh or chrome and then over here we've got to say we've got the same chrome it goes 30k instead of 20k and it holds 90,000 liters instead of 50,000 so that is a typical stevie option right there we've got standard capacity extension there does it change anything no so you you got an extension which gives you 90,000 liters instead of 50,000 i'm not going to go for that at the moment maybe we will in the future maybe we'll look at that and we'll decide that it's the thing to do but i'd like to do this one because it's got the backwards pickup on it and I will get the extension on that one. I like the fact that it does actually have a physical extension on there, which I think is quite good. We'll leave the Trailborg wheels and we will buy that one there for $153,000. This requires 240 horsepower to pull. Fortunately, we have got a bit of a beast that we can use. Now, before we start anything else, I'm going to go over to here and I'm going to have a look. So he's gone all the way round three times so it was what i said with where the course was so when we go back because i've saved this course when we do go back to it it's going to be ever so slightly different in that it, um this is not going to quite go out as far towards the edge of the field i don't think so this one will go up here now i'm curious what it's going to do with that bit there it's not going to try and drive across it by the look of it but it is leaving all the straight lines all the way through. And that's quite a cool thing. So we can leave that one there. That, that one's just going to stay there and it's going to carry on doing what it's doing. And then we're going to go with this one. And we're going to grab our new shooter maker, uh, sh shooter marker over here. We're going to run back over to the field. And we're going to start gathering up all of this crop. So let me just hitch this one on. The bit that I'm curious about. There we go. Put you on like that. What options have we got? Turn on, lower pickup, uh, toggle, guidance, steering. Right, we don't need to worry about that. So lower the pickup. That drops down like that. See, this, this is a back to front one. It's very strange. It's a very weird thing for me. For, for me. Never seen one like this before. It's going up that way. You can't see the tines moving on there. But you can see the knife and everything working in there. I like the way that that does sort of work. That, 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 is, that is quite cool. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think that is quite cool. Let's get this one back over to the field then. And we'll see how he handles as we go race. I'm, I'm going to try and drive this one around as, as fast as I can. Just to see what he, he handles like. We're on silage now. When you're on silage, the, the, there's no hanging around. Although you, you do kind of want to drive a, a little bit safely, if, if you can. Um, yeah, but when you're on the silage, you, you can't be hanging around. You, you, you've got to... You, it's, you, your accelerator has got two positions. It's either on or it's off. And if your accelerator is in the off position, you better have a very good reason for it. Because if you don't, there will be trouble. Right? That's, that's literally it. You, you, accelerator is on or off. If you really, really need to put your accelerator in the off position... There had better be a very seriously good reason for it. Because if there isn't... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time... Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.